everyone. We are now doing a wreath. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm laughing, it's because I got so confused last week because the start of Anne's one said circles and promptly she did circles and then I did circles and then everyone else did circles. But in the comment below in the box, it said wreath and I'd noticed that and thought, what was I missing? <laughs> And uh, Instagram, quite a few people said, I think, I think it's just what's going to be next week's one. And they were right. They were absolutely right. So tag 51 is a wreath. <laughs> there you go. And we're doing, um, I don't even know. I've, I've got an old bit of tablecloth. I thought I'd like to have a bit of a fancy background. So I've got the sides of my tag, because I'll probably cut it here and here. And I've done a circle, which I think is the, probably that lid. Yes, it was. So I've done a circle. Now we're going to set this up with some fly stitch. Now I wonder if I should just do one strand. Maybe. It's very thin though, isn't it? I think we're meant to do it thin. Um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm gaga today. I'm totally gaga because I've been running around seeing all the people with last minute instructions for their pet feeds. So uh, my brain has just left the building. So I think a bit of stitching is a good idea. I'm we'll finished for the day. Came home, plopped on the couch for a minute. And then my flatmate said, oh, I'm moving out tonight. <laughs> Doesn't rain, it pours. Then a big jog cancelled. <laughs> so there you go. Who knows? Can't predict a thing in this household. Now, where's my little flower gone? Apparently it's gone walkabout. Let's see. I'm going to do, th I don't know, should I? Should I do two threads? Oh, um, I've got quite a, my, my tags are larger than a lot of other people's. So my circle's quite large. And I really liked the look. I thought they, they looked great, the little fly stitch around the edge. So I don't know, I'm just going to wing it without the help of my threader. I've got my glasses on. Got it. There we go. do like a bit of fly stitch. So I don't... Um, well, I see a wreath as circular. Usually you hang it up here and it's a circle. So I don't think on I don't know I think I might just do one complete fly stitch all the way around all right so um which way am I gonna go or well, maybe that's what the issue is which way do you want your little sticks to go. Alright. Um. Anyway, so the story is that the flatmate was going to go now so there's this beautiful beautiful spot called the Wilson's Prom here and it's Maybe two hours from the city, possibly. And she was going on a five-day hike over New Year's and she hadn't booked because she was knowing that she was looking and waiting for this job in Tasmania. Um, and I said, I said to her, <laughs> it's very busy down there and she hadn't booked. So... Uh, that's 
Yeah, she missed out. And then she had a mad panic because she wasn't sure then what to do because she wants to have a holiday, of course, before going to Tasmania because she'd already booked her, her ferry ride where she's taking the car on the ferry over to Tasmania, having a good adventure. And they, she hadn't read the thing in properly, the instructions, and it, she thought it said that she can't cancel her ticket and get a refund to go earlier once she found out that she couldn't do her Wilson's prom trip. So she uh, took a day to think about it, which was, this was yesterday, had a night's sleep on it, and... Um, when I got home, she said while she was at the gym, she booked to go to Phillip Island instead. And then, well, she must have rung the ferry people or read the rules a bit better. And it turned out that uh, she actually could change her ticket without losing money. It was just that she wasn't able to just get a refund. So she found out what day earlier she could go, which is in a week instead of three weeks. And then she decided to go camping to Phillip Island for a week. And then she thought, there's two days either side. So she's packed all her stuff, well, she's in the process of packing all her stuff in her car so that she can go and stay at a friend's place and not paying it any more rent anymore. <laughs> so she's she's going tonight. <laughs> so it went from being not for three weeks to going, gone, out of here. And I said she didn't she didn't have to. She could pack her stuff properly. <laughs> anyway, things change, don't they? All of a sudden, and then on the same day, I had the same notice from another lady saying um, the big pet sitting job later in late January is cancelled. <laughs> so there you go. And I went for, um, what else did I do? Oh, I went for a job. Uh, so I used to nanny. And I thought, now that the flatmate's moving out, um, I'll get a job as a nanny. But I went. Oh, I'll tell you what. Lovely people. Really lovely people. Um, and I'm really, really quite good with most kids. <laughs> but their little girl woke up. She'd been having a nap. And she was three and a half. So she woke up, took one look at me and started crying because it was a stranger in the house when she... I mean, I wasn't on my own. The parents were still there. But she just wasn't having a bar of a stranger in the house after she'd just had a nap. Then the baby woke up. Same thing. Wasn't having a bar of a stranger in the house once he'd woken up from his nap. <laughs> and I thought, ooh, I don't think this is a very good fit at all. So uh, maybe not. Maybe not a good idea. Well, I'm just going round, round and round. So I feel like I've just done more. <laughs> going round, talking to people, getting all the instructions for the cat feeding. And let's move that noisy tin. Going around talking to people, having all sorts of stuff happen here. I feel like I've had 10 days in like the last 24 hours, honestly. Oh. Seriously, you wouldn't credit it, would you? Just not expected at all. Yeah, so I tell you what, it's 
just nice to sit and have a stitch after all that. that off. So tomorrow is a day where I go and pick up the last of the keys and then the day after I start start the first feeds. The, that uh, right so today is Sunday so Tomorrow I pick up the last of the keys, Monday, then Tuesday I start and there's only one or two feeds, not too much, so that'll be the day this is being uploaded. Wednesday there's only one or two feeds, so that's um, not too bad. Then it's an onslaught. <laughs> five or six in the morning, five or six in the afternoon. And some of those are doubles, who's it twice? And then that goes till mid-January. And then I think Huss is gonna come back. Well, of course he hasn't booked the ticket yet, so. We'll wait and see. Now I was thinking with this wreath, I had a picture of doing this knife, this, oh, and this um, pen, that's a water-based. So I'm gonna try spraying it at the end and see how I go. I've watched Kathy Reavy doing that. She's just sprayed it and it just disappeared. So I'm going to attempt that. I like this stitch. I do really like it. I guess everyone is busy for Christmas. That's, that's for how that has to go. Oh, you know, I know what I was thinking because this background is all shiny. I thought I was going to make it all like silver threads and gold and stuff, but I didn't do that. In the end, everyone loves a green wreath because it reminds you of leaves. Maybe I'll just go round and round and round doing fly stitch. <laughs> I am enjoying it. Very soothing. All right, coming to the end here. Just gonna put that in there. Cast it off. Now, I'm thinking that a wreath always has one circle 
but then a lot down here. So I'm wondering about maybe one more circle joined in perhaps. One thread. It's very fine, isn't it? It's a bit too fine, I think, for my size tag. So I was thinking about whether all my tags, the way they are, I love them like that. And I love the crinkly noise they make when I pick them up and move them. But I was actually wondering about displaying them a different way, like all flat on a great big board maybe. And I wonder how that would look. So you could see them all over the course of the year. I don't know. What does anyone think? Good idea? Now, am I going to be happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Alright, I like that. I'll do a bit more and I'll come back. Alright, so I'm now doing, I did a full circle of those, so now what I want to do is incorporate these as if they've been intertwined and woven around. So I'm just doing at the side some little, I've done a back stitch or two like so and then at the top one rather than coming out one stitch away and doing another back stitch I'm coming up at the top of the back stitch then I'm doing a little pistol stitch so it looks like they've been wrapped around and they're branching out and then I thought it wouldn't, it needs a little, little one on the inside as well, just some little ones. To make it look like it's a sprig of something. There, so that's that bit. I'm probably going to come over and do some on this side. Then I'll start to do some things around the bottom. All right, I'm just uh, finishing off a couple of little pistol stitches, and then that is going to be the end of that, this particular stitch. start working on something else. As I add, I am noticing, let's get this, I'm noticing that I was worried that I was cluttering up a bit, but it actually it does seem to be making a the shape that I was interested in where it's lighter up the top and it's more like coming in, so from now along here, I've got to come in with something new. So, here. Maybe a couple of French knots. So it's 
like little berries. Just, just to indicate the start of this little bottom end while I work out what I'm doing on the next bit. <laughs> finished off my little red berries, making them thicker down towards the centre and now I'm doing some little white lazy daisies, lazy daisy stitches, just little flowers. I'm just trying to do them a bit loose so they do sit over the top. A little bit random, not all totally in perfect alignment, or well, each petal is not exactly the same. This is a very good um, little tag. Really needed this little moment to focus in on something. I've been running around out in the world doing all that stuff, that Christmas stuff and the pets and all of that. There we go, let's have a look at it. Right, so now I've got to bring in another element down around here and then maybe even some beads. Okay, I've finished the little white ones and I've done some little gold colour bullion knots and now I'm putting on some little tiny weeny little, um, they're like little glass cylinders next to the bullion knots to kind of bling them up a little bit. Add a little bit of sparkle. Now because I know this is my tag and I'm going to be, I always glue it down, I'm not really bothering with the uh, tie-offs after each one because the tie-off after each one will mean that you don't risk the beads coming undone. But in this case it's not going to matter. Right, so we just added just added another little dimension there at the bottom. Now what I wanted to do, I was just going to add a little bead in the centre of each of the little flowers. So I think I've got some white ones here. Very fiddly. Got the smallest, smallest needle that I, I could find. So that, I might just double, double secure that one. A bit bigger. It's like sewing on a button. Okay, here's my finished tag 51. I did end up putting a little bit of this canvas, thin canvas bag behind just to not have any glue seeping through because I glue mine down and I added in some little green beads as well just to have another bit of interest and a bit of just dense colour down here and layering. So there it is, it's a, it's a, it, it was a good little wreath, I enjoyed that and I'll see you at number 52 which is our last one. Um, I don't know when it is Someone was saying it might be New Year's Eve, so that's over a week away, so I, I don't know. But for now, um, 
Merry Christmas everyone. I hope you have a lovely day with your families or even if you prefer to do Christmas on your own and you don't even celebrate. I hope you have a lovely day and lots of love and honestly thanks for the year really. I'm saying that now. It's not New Year's Eve yet but uh, yep we got through it. Big hugs. Bye for now.